I'm here at HPE Discover with Klaus Hansen, and IoT is a growing interest among all, all enterprises, it seems. And you guys have a solution that seems to be enabling that. Could you talk about what that is for yes. me? Sure. So, it's true, we make a lot of noise around IoT this week here. So, one of the products we have is called the HPE Universal IoT Platform. It's basically what is known as application enablement software. So it's a cloud platform, it takes care of connecting all the IoT sensors, objects, devices that are out there, it manages the devices, it manages the data, it makes data available and consumable by applications in various industries. Okay, so what's, what are some examples of where you're seeing customers use this? Yeah, so one of the core principles that we believe is you, any organization, any company, cities, they will have hundreds of different IoT use cases. They typically start with one, they deploy more and more, but everybody will have hundreds of use cases. So for us, a core principle is to have this horizontal capability, the ability to host many different IoT use cases on the same platform. So that's a core principle in the design. Typical customers are CSP, so communication service providers, it's uh, application service providers, but it's uh, smart cities to a larger and larger degree as well. So, so exactly. what does that mean, smart cities? Yeah, so exactly because in a city you have so many different use cases you want to enable, so it really makes sense to combine it all on a single platform. So smart cities fundamentally means the cities want to improve the quality of life, ultimately improve health, security, safety for the citizens. Of course, as well to save some money while doing it. So, several use cases and very common use cases, not so much depending on where on the globe it is, but starting by environmental services, monitoring the air quality, pollution, to provide information to the population, so very basic. Then moving into areas that are challenging everywhere like managing the waste, getting rid of the waste in a cost-efficient manner. So connecting waste bins, connecting trucks, connecting the workforce in order to optimize the processes around collecting and disposing waste. Some of the newer things that we are investing a lot in is um, things like video surveillance, connecting that to the cloud and to the IoT platforms. So with all the new uh, technology and our edge line compute, we have the ability to move compute capacity close to the edge. Cities can deploy video cameras. You can do real-time analysis close to the camera, discover a lost bag or people crowding where they shouldn't or recognizing faces and so on. Everything done at the edge, but triggering events on the cloud platform and triggering emergency services or other capabilities of the city. But so like in that instance, HPE isn't necessarily providing the camera infrastructure, it's the, it's the back end to analyze the data that yeah. the cameras so, are producing? Yeah, so we're working with a large ecosystem of partners. So HPE is obviously not producing sensors and devices in, in the smart city areas. We have a partner ecosystem connected to our platform, verified, supported by HPE as part of the ecosystem. And in the same category we have application providers. So HP is not necessarily experts in everything from waste management to security. So we work with companies, security companies, application providers in those domains. But we bring it all together, integrated into these solutions. All right, well I look forward to see what you guys do next with IoT. Sure. Thanks Klaus. Thank you.